Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oiz, and welcome back to Project Ozone 2. In the last episode, we went to another dimension and got ourselves a ton of bedrockium, as in like a lot of it. Um, this is what we're going to be using for EMC for the time being. There's better things that we will use later, but for now, that'll work. Um, and yeah, so we, we got a bunch of bedrockium, we did some exploring, we did some quests, I do believe. Um, right, we did the, uh, uh, solar panel quest and set up some solar panels over here, which are actually powering our entire base pretty, pretty handedly. Um, and one of the big things that I'm doing currently is I'm making a bunch of crystallized redstone. Uh, mostly just so that we have it for the Infinity Catalyst because we are slowly, slowly, slowly progressing to get everything we need um, to start getting a very powerful item, the Wand of Animation. So, yeah, that is what we are working on currently. And, yeah, um, one of the things we got last time that was kind of awesome is the Armageddon. This is one of these special items uh, that you can get from reward bags. There's two of them. There's a sword as well that I am aware of um, that are just completely overpowered. This thing does, what, 875 hearts of damage. Uh, it came with some heavy ammo, and yeah, this stuff is just, it, it's ridiculous. It can one-shot most things pretty easily. Uh, I don't actually know if it can one-shot the Chaos Guardian, uh, the Chaos Dragon thing, but uh, not something I really want to find out, at least not today. So, uh, what are we going to be doing today? Well, first things first, I have a bunch of Neutronium and a bunch of Enticing Crystals. Now, this is not enough Neutronium for the Neutronium Compressor. We need to make large plates. I think this is going to let us make two and have an ingot uh, left. So, uh, we need the Neutronium Compressor in order to make, uh, well, a lot of things, but to, in order to make the Singularities. Uh, these are just a lot of blocks of different metals and whatnot, and yeah, we're gonna need a lot of stuff. And this thing is going, but it's slow. Now, I have on me half a stack of enticing crystals. That's not too bad. We're gonna turn this into a bunch of vibranium, and um, I have to remember which, which way is, so if we look at vibranium, uh, it's half a stack of solarium, so we need a lot of that. So, yeah, if each one's a half a stack, it does two. So this is actually 16. So we need eight stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And vibrant alloy we need what for each i th i hope i'm right on the math eight for every two so 16 times eight uh that is one two three four five six seven eight yeah so that's two stacks all right let's hope that's right let's turn this to alloys only as you can see i was making some stuff uh, just a bunch of more Eulorium, and we're going to put this in for our uh, reactor. Even though it's not on, it's good to have nice storage. In fact, that is completely full. Uh, and what do we have in here? Just a bunch of silicon and some flint. Flint can stay in there. Okay, so that part is taken care of. Uh, so what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to continue waiting for neutronium. Um, we're going to make some more Neutron Collectors probably, uh, as well as we're going to work on getting the rest of the stuff we need for the Wand of Animation, uh, and with that, the Infinity Catalyst. Uh, we're also going to do some quests, because I noticed there's a lot of quests that we can do pretty easily now that we have a ton of EMC. So that's, that's the plan. Um, before we do anything else, we need four of these for the Wand of Animation. Uh, now, Vibranium is something that I am going to automate uh, with the Wand of Automation, but that'll be later. Uh, Demon Steel is something else that we're going to try to get done today. So let's grab, like, a couple stacks of this stuff. And um, for right now, I don't want to put it in there, but let's, you know, I have another chest. Let's grab another chest. 
All right, so we have an EMC bull chest. I picked that one up, and now I'm using it again. Oh man, that is always fun when you, when you think, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna move this thing and then put it right back." Uh, anyways, let's do some quests, and then we'll work on getting more of the supplies for the Infinity Catalyst, as well as whatever else we can get for the Wand of Animation, and that will be pretty much today. So we're gonna. We're going to complete most of these early quest lines. Uh, so we need to get the deep dark portal. So let's do that first. Uh, the deep dark requires bedrockium, octuple compressed cobblestone, and bedrock. Uh, bedrock is actually really easy. It is a crafting recipe. Uh, we're going to need a couple pieces of this. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to make a piece of bedrock. And we're going to duplicate it. Uh, we'll put the other one in here. And that'll be fine. So we have the bedrock. We need a little bit of bedrockium. Uh, which we will keep separate. Uh, let's actually throw these guys in here. And then we're going to need uh, octuple compressed cobblestone. Uh, which we have a little bit of. This is what we're going to end up using for EMC. Uh, it is much, much more than a single block of bedrockium. So it's going to be a lot better to use. Anyways, we need... How many of these? Four? Um, there's one. Yeah, we're going to need a couple stacks of this. It's 43 million. Actually, yeah, about four stacks will be fine two, three, and four. Now there is a bit of lag going on. I don't know what's up with that, but let's make the portal of the deep dark, uh, a place that we're probably never gonna go. Uh, and I'll tell you guys why. So the deep dark is uh, basically a mining dimension, but it is dangerous. Um, it has, I believe it has higher ore uh, generation, but we don't really need to go there uh, ever because why we we have all the resources we need there's nothing else that we can get there um we might go there one day but for now i don't think so um okay for some reason it didn't detect okay there we go uh one of the big things with the the deep dark is that uh in darkness there are invisible you take um damage if you are in darkness for too long ah uh, it's supposed to be like a grew if you've ever heard of that that's a thing from an old old text uh adventure game um things that hide in the dark but there is nothing like physical that's doing it it's just uh tick damage basically but uh it's it, it's just a, a mining area um not anything we really need so for today let's take the far left bags and we got an epic cool um, I don't know what this is. Place torches in on... Oh, that's kind of cool. And Sojourner's Staff, this is also pretty cool. Um, you can place them far away. You can place torches far away. Uh, but we don't really need to use them. So that is everything in the Gamma Quest line. Let's move on to the Epsilon, which is the fun part. We need Demon Steel. Lots of Demon Steel. Uh, so we'll open the bags later. So Demon Steel of the 7th Magnitude. Let's get a bunch of these. Uh, so it's actually a lot easier with the bedrockium. And we can put one of these guys in here. And there is eighth. Uh, which we already had one of. So let's put the eighth in here. And let's grab a couple more stacks of bedrockium. I don't know how many we're going to actually end up needing, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, there is a bit of lag with this, and I don't really know why. Uh, like my... Hmm. Eighth magnitude. Alright, there we go. So we want to keep one. Seven, eight. I guess that can go in here as well. And there's the ninth magnitude. We get three of those. And 
ninth magnitude. That is 137 million uh, EMC. Uh, and unfortunately, we can't use it for anything other than making more. Uh, we're going to need more bedrockium. And hopefully we can get everything we need with this. Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough bedrockium. Which is a shame. So there is three. We have ninth in here. We'll combine these, get a tenth. So that's a 413 million. So we'll put the tenth in there. And... Yeah, we're only at like a... We're only like halfway there. Um, it's hard to tell because the bar is not working at all. But... Oh wow, that's really close. Um... Take just a little bit more. And there is a single tenth. Oh man, that is going to be expensive. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and put that in here. Let's grab all the bedrockium. We don't really need it anywhere else. We're down to three stacks. We're not going to be able to make this yet. Um, we need an eleventh for the wand of animation, uh, which is like a billion. But anyways, we have a couple quests we can complete. Far left. And that's not too bad. So we have another epic. And, ugh, a greater. Uh, Alright, so we're going to stop there for now. Um, just because we, we could get more EMC. We could go get uh, another bedrockium drum full of uh, well liquid bedrockium. Or we could do some other stuff. So this guy is done. We have 12 Vibranium. Let's get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, I wish... Let's see, what are these called? Uh, neutro, neutron Collector. Uh, I wish I could, like, get more of these. Um, 12 times... Four. There's that many. Which is 48. Okay. Ah, let's see. Let's just start building this up. That goes there. I wish I could shift click, but you can't. Uh, that is a bummer in this. Um... Uh, we need a bunch of flux crystals. Let's just grab like that. And there we go. Three, four, five. Not too bad. Uh, just going to take some time to get all this stuff. Uh, let's see. We need just 24 of these. Um, we only need 12 of those. And these. And I guess, let's see, four sets, that's 48. Okay. Uh, so where does things go? Uh, this stuff goes here. Let's go there. Alright, not too bad. We're gonna need a lot of these and these. A lot of those. <laughs> I'm just trying to get everything together. So, um, we need what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Something like this. Is it on both sides? Yes. And that works out pretty nicely, actually. Uh, the both sides of that one? Yes. Okay. So there's that. Uh, we need 12 of these. 
Uh, dark iron, there's three on the top. Something like that. Clouds. We're gonna need like three stacks of these. Well, less than that, but let's get another stack. Minus eight. And so we're gonna need another stack minus eight of the compressed iron. Let's take a stack of the, yeah, we'll just kind of play this by ear. Um, it is not minus eight, is it? So something like that. All right, uh, what goes there? We need three sets of signalum. And yeah, let's just get this taken care of. Um, there we go. And then we just make more neutron collectors. Uh, so apologies for having to set this up. Uh, it is a complicated recipe. I uh, really should do this type of stuff off camera, but I wanted to show you all the vibranium I was gonna get. And it really wasn't that much at the end of the day, but um, I mean, it's half a stack of villagers for 12 more, well, 12 more plus the uh, addition of the uh, Vibranium for the Wand of Animation. Now, once we get the Wand of Animation, uh, this will be a lot easier. I don't have any conduits on me, so let's set this up so we can get some more, and then we'll get back to some questing. Uh, there's a couple of quests I skipped before that we can do now um, without too much problem. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so extract, always active. And I don't need to jump anymore. Just need to hold shift. And get all these guys hooked up. That'll be 12 more neutronium piles every like six minutes, I think or however long it takes. It takes a while, and it's real time. It's kind of awful. These things are so slow. The only way to speed them up is just to make a ton more of them. Um, this is for like creative mode items and like in-game stuff, so it's kind of expected, but at the same time, it's really slow. Um, all right, so with that taken care of, let's continue on with our quest. So we're done with Epsilon for now. Uh, getting another piece of demon steel is going to be super duper expensive. So let's get rid of that. Uh, and Zeta. So this is, um, we need two things here. That requires a bunch of compressed Gaia. I don't really kill, I don't really want to go kill the Gaia Guardian. And this requires... An Infinity Star, which we can't get yet. So, can't do anything there. But in Eta, or Eta, however you say it, um, we can do the wireless crafting terminals. So, that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff. And wireless crafting. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, ME wireless access and a security terminal. All right, so all this stuff is not too bad to do. Um, so the security terminal, we need an ME chest, which is a little bit expensive. Let's see, we're gonna need, what do we need? Everything in the center. Uh, so we need an ME terminal So we're gonna need a 
inventory panel thing, uh, which is going to require all this stuff. Um, so vibrant gears times four. Oh, hey, we have nine more vibranium. I have that on autocraft. Oh, I didn't realize that. Anyways, I will uh, make more stuff later. So we have the vibrant gears. We need a bucket for the nutrient distillation, which we still have 20 buckets of. Uh, vibrant gears. We're going to need two vibrant crystals. which requires some player cores. And then that. Um, and then we're gonna need one of these remote access things. So we need some more conduit binder. Uh, and then we're also going to need an eye of ender. And then the sentient, the hard part is a sentient ender, which requires an, a witch soul and an ender resonator. Uh, let's look up sentient. Uh, no, sin. We don't have one. Uh, can we make them with the MC? No. But how about an ender resonator? No, of course not. Okay, what do we need? Enderman head, solarium, silicon, uh, and vibrant alloy. Solarium, Enderman head, uh, which we should have. We had six remote awareness upgrades. I don't know why I made another one. We also have a sentient ender. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. Um, let's just go over here. Let's make the inventory panel. And that should be done. Um, then we can make the ME terminal and make the Oh man, this is a lot of work for this thing. You know what? We can't. Never mind. Uh, so we'll put that back in there. We need an ME terminal. Which we don't have any more. That's strange. We oh, I almost always have more of these illuminated panels. Uh, vibrant glass. Let's get like a stack or so. Oh wait, no, it's vibrant, no. Is it vibrant glass or is it just quartz glass? It's just quartz glass, okay. This will make a bunch of it, but we're just gonna take like a stack. And there's that. So we can make the ME terminal now. Do I have a feeling, yeah, we're gonna need another one of those. Uh, can we EMC it? No, of course not. Um, why would we be able to do something so easy like that? All right, so we need four more vibrant gears. Uh, that will take just a second. And that doesn't require, no, that doesn't require anything too difficult. Uh, we're going to need that bucket back. We're going to need an Enderman head. We're going to need a lot of stuff. So this will be done in just a second. Um, we don't have... Can we use one of these? Actually, don't know. I realize I need a vibrant alloy. We need solarium and... Silicon. And here's the question. 
No, does not work. Do we really not have... What are they called specifically? Uh, Enderman head. So let's just look up head. We do not have any Enderman heads. That is really strange. Uh, let me think. Where's going to be the best place to get one? Um, we can grab our cleaver. Do I have any... We have a one Enderman. Um, I mean, obviously the end would be the best place to go. Duh. So let's go to the end real quick. We can always get more Enderman. That's not going to ever be a problem. Is it Enderman that we need? Or it's witches, isn't it? Witches are a little bit more difficult. Yeah, it's a witch. So we still need to come here and get some Enderman heads. You know, I wonder... This thing. Let's punch stuff. Yeah. It's still really, really good. And we got a bunch of stuff. Okay. Let's go through the portal and try to deal with all this stuff. So it's not an Enderman we need. It is a witch. Do we have any witches? No. So let's uh, dump this stuff. Uh, let's switch this stuff around a little bit. Uh, we're going to need that bucket again. And nutrient distillation. Put that in there. Make an ender resonator. Uh, now I want to turn our magnet off so we can dump this stuff in here. There's a witch right there. But I have a plan. Um, we just need to get a witch. And I'm trying to think what's going to be the best way to do that. Um, it might be smart to make a couple of those. Store one in here. Okay. So what else do we need for this uh, inventory? We need vibrant crystals, that's right. Uh, which are not that bad. Just go from here. Player core. Let's just do this the easy way. We'll get one and duplicate like a stack of them. So we need two of those. All right, so we just need to find a witch. Once we find a witch, we can capture a witch. We can then uh, get uh, as many witches as we'll ever need. In fact, we might already have a witch. Uh, so we'll go check that in just a second. We need the remote awareness thing. All right. So do we have any witches in here? Bat, flu cow, pink slime, snow golems. No. Uh, so we need to grab a witch. Uh, what's going to be the easiest way to do that? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Witches. You know, I wonder. Uh, do we have any witch water? Let's grab a barrel. And I guess a bucket. None of these are witch water, are they? No. Um, oil, liquid, blue slime. Okay. We can do something a little bit weird. Uh, let's grab some water. Where do I have water at? Um... Don't I have a barrel? No. 
Why do I not have any water sources? I guess there's one right here. Okay, so we need this. We'll put water in there. And we have any ancient spores? Yes, we do. Um, so typically you can make witch water from using, uh, well, basically you can use uh, the mycelium um, and it will slowly convert, or you can just right click uh, a barrel of water with ancient spores and it'll give you witch water. Now let's get a safari net, um, a reusable one. And this should allow us to get a witch. Um, since it's a blood moon, let's just come over here. Uh, we have a super duper powerful bow, so I'm not too concerned about like things killing us. Uh, but I guess while we're waiting, let's go ahead and make the other stuff that we need. And then we can, we'll get the witch once it's night. Hopefully we can find one on the little floating island, and it'll be great. So... Let's see, otherwise we can, why I'm making the, the water, uh, because it's the blood moon, we're gonna check the spawnable areas, but if not, I think, you know, I wanna test this more than anything. So let's go to the mining dimension and grab a villager, cause I don't, I feel like there's a way you can turn, I, I know that you can make gas with witch water. Um, by turning the uh by turning a squid into a gas basically uh i don't know if we can take the children i'm not i'm gonna i'm not gonna take the little ones but we have a whole bunch of villagers uh let's just do it this way uh, and we'll see what the witch water does i don't know if it turns them it might turn them into zombies uh, i don't know if we can get witches or not Actually, isn't it like clerics specifically? Um, that's a zoologist, farmer. I wish you could see. I know in later versions of Ender.io you can see what they are. We're going to test this uh, specifically with a cleric if we have one. Otherwise, we're just going to use whatever the last one is. Uh, priest. That might work. We'll put him up here. What are you? Farmer. All right. So I don't know what this will make, but we have some witch water. Uh, let's make a little bit of... See, there is no light here now if we put witch water here and then we put a villager haha -ha, it does make a witch then we can capture and make sure it's perfectly light perfect uh, so that that's that is a way to make witches um, FYI, uh, if you didn't know, I, I, I couldn't remember what the like specific mob was. You can make gas using uh, squids. Uh, I think there's a couple of other recipes with witch water that you can do uh, to make like harder to find mobs, but I don't remember what all, all of them are. So now that we have a witch, uh, we can come down here. I uh, had imps in there. And we need to turn the magnet off. Uh, we'll let this spawn. I don't want to spawn too many. So that'll be good. We'll get a couple of witches. And... Darkness, blindness potions, great. All right, just in case I accidentally activate that or something, I don't want witches to spawn. Um, we don't need that many, so we're not gonna take that many. 
Anyways, uh, do we have another? I uh, don't. We have another machine down here. Yeah, one of these. Let's make one of those, and that works. Okay, so that taken care of, we should be able to make the other. Uh, Sentient, we have these sentient ender now. We should be able to make what we need. Put a couple of witches in there. Put that stuff in there. Awesome. So a lot of work to get this stuff taken care of. Uh, this is one of the harder quests, and this is the last quest we're gonna do for today. And then we're gonna see what we can make with the uh, the other thing uh, with the infinity catalyst. So that'll be the plan. Uh, anyways. We'll get to that in a second. So let's get back to what we're making the um, security terminal. We still need we need some glass. Let's make like let's make one, and then I'm totally EMCing it. And we'll get a couple stacks. Uh, glass is very very cheap. All right, that's good enough. Uh, but we still need a personal chest, which is actually pretty easy. Uh, we just need two normal chests. Uh, now this would be difficult if it wasn't for the fact that the basic control circuits are relatively cheap EMC wise. And so making this is pretty straightforward. So that will make an ME chest. Uh, and then with that, we should be able to make everything except for we need a 16K storage. Uh, so we just need one of these. That'll craft. It'll take just a moment, but it won't be too bad. So how quickly is it actually going to go? Actually, very quickly. Uh, so it'll be done here in a moment. And there is the security terminal. Uh, so if we wanted to, we could set all of this stuff up. Do we have any infinity boosters? Yeah, we have some infinity booster cards. Uh, we could set this all up and have wireless ME system, um, but I don't really think that's going to be required. So I'm not going to do it. Um, but we need the wireless access point, which requires one of these. And there we go. That was easy enough. And then the last thing we need is the actual uh, wireless crafting terminal. Um, but yeah, making this, we can we can use it if we ever want to. Um, but it's a question of whether I want to or not. So we need two 16,000K storage, two of these guys, which we have one and two. All right, so you go back. Uh, we need what's ever in the middle, which is another crafting terminal. And we just need a crafting table. Easy enough. And then we just need two of these wireless connectors, which requires just a little bit of stuff. Uh, we're gonna need a quartz. Uh, let's make like 10 of those. So we're gonna need two of these. So we're gonna need four of these uh, because we need to make two more wireless uh, access points. And then that should be everything we need there. We have one wireless charger. We're going to need a second wireless charger. Oops, wrong block. Um, so that is electro steel into resonator. Uh, wireless booster card. One, two, three, four. Ender resonator, luckily. And what else is it? Um, 
Octodic, and then two wireless modems. Uh, let's get some more Ender Eyes. Let's just honestly make a stack of those. I think that'll be easier. Alright, so... Why did I do that? Uh, we need to make the Ender Overseer. One. Two. One, two. And then Octodic Capacitor. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, and this won't take that long. So with this, we will have what we need. So like that. There we go. Uh, with this, we'll have everything we need to set up a wireless ME. Uh, like I said, I don't really have any plans to do that just because there's not much reason to. Um, one of the big problems with doing that is the fact that we use EMC more than anything else, so we're going to be standing here most of the time. And I don't know why there's all this really weird lag, but there we go. That's that quest, Far Left Reward Bag, which is another epic that is great. Alright, so that should be all the quests in the Applied Energistic stuff. So we have, let's see, Demon Steel. Um, Infinity Star and Compressed Gaia is required for that, and then RF Tools, um, we need to get Dimensional Shards, and then kill some bosses uh, in the uh, Erebus, but we do need to go kill two more Antlion Overlords, um, which this is a repeatable quest, so we'll probably end up repeating it. Uh, that is something we'll probably do next time. I think I'm going to go find some stuff um, for that, but we'll get to that later. So, uh, before we do a little bit more work, seeing what we can uh, continue preparing for the Infinity Catalyst, because we're going to need quite a few of these, let's go ahead and open our reward bag. This is the greater one. We got a Starfield Creator. Okay, that's cool, but doesn't really do much for me. And then we have three epics. So, a Chaos Catalyst, that's really nice. Ultimate Men, that's boring, and two Diamond Apples. Alright, so the Chaos Catalyst is really nice, but not really what we want right now. Alright, so let's get rid of this, and let's look at the Infinity Catalyst. Uh, so, let's just go through. We have Dark Matter Blocks. That's going to be fun to do. Flux Crystal Blocks. Do we have... Uh, or Flux Crystals, rather. Um, we can teach this to make, let's see, if we need uh, a stack of blocks, that's nine stacks, that's about, what, 500? Let's just do 500 for now. Um, so that'll be pretty quick. But that'll be the, the flux crystal blocks. We need cosmic meatballs. Um, so we need half a stack of tiny, new, uh, tiny piles. And let's grab that. And then we're going to need some various meat products. Uh, so we are going to need... Let's get the cosmic meat, meatballs. Now, eventually we will automate all of this stuff. Um, it won't be too bad. But we're going to need fish. We're going to need all the meat products. So if we type raw, we should be able to get most of them. Um... And we just need a stack of most of this stuff. And we can always EMC anything else. Raw pork chops. Uh, we do need mutton. But that's something we're going to have to EMC. <laughs> Seems a little ridiculous. But hey, it works. Um, do we not have any fish? We do not have any fish. So let's get... Uh, two string... Not stock sticks. And just for ease, let's go to the uh, mining dimension. And we'll take care of this. So it won't be that bad. I mean, there's some water right here. I forgot why I came here for a second. 
Uh, so we just gotta we gotta get a single fish. Um, hopefully we get it first try. We'll see. But uh, I can't remember if this is the version that has the lines going to it or not. Let's try to get it a little bit better placed. No, I don't think so. But hey, we just need a single fish. And then we'll be able to get... Oh my gosh. Uh, we'll be able to get what we need. So, just gotta wait. <laughs> oh man. So, any day now. <laughs> I hate fishing in this game sometimes. Um... In the newer versions of Minecraft, uh, fishing is actually a lot more fun. It's a lot more rewarding uh, to actually spend the time doing it. But there's got to be a better way to get a fish. <laughs> In this version, it's just awful. And that wasn't even a... <sighs> Dang you, Pams. All right. Oh, we can turn... Never mind. Never mind. I'm not mad at you, Pam, anymore. Uh, we can turn any type of fish into the raw fish. Uh, so, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and get the cosmic meatballs. And... See, let's put that away. Let's grab a couple of stacks of fish. Uh, or that much. That should be good. All right, so we have. Let's go ahead and place these down. So it doesn't ma it doesn't matter. It's shapeless, but we have beef, chicken, pork, and fish. Let's see beef, chicken, pork, and fish. Imp. Then we need meat and mutton. Uh, so the meat ingots. Do we have a stack of these? We do. So we set those up before. Um, and now we should be able to, it doesn't matter where we place them as long as they are appropriately like spaced and whatnot. But there is a stack of cosmic meatballs, um, which was a quest. Um, can we actually even do the, oh, that was the next thing to do. Hey, cool. Um, so we'll take the far left bag. It is good. Tape measure. All right, that's boring. But um, let's see, it's in the fourth spot. One, two, three, four. Do we have the flux crystals? We have a good number of them. We have thirty-nine blocks. All right. Um, so then we're also gonna need ultimate stew, which is used for the which is the next thing. Uh, this requires a bunch of different, like, a bunch of different things. Um, we get nine each, so we're only gonna need, like, let's do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's see if we can get all this stuff. Um, and then that'll probably be where we end today's episode, because it's getting a little bit late. So, ultimate stew the ultimate stew has basically just a ton of different growable stuff so we need wheat carrots uh let's see wheat uh carrots which we don't have that many of but we can always get more All right, um, one, two, three. Let's see, potatoes. A lot of the stuff we should probably grow, but at the same time, I don't care enough. Uh, we can EMC it just fine. All right, so we have wheat, carrots, potatoes. Um, we need apple, melon, pumpkin, cactus. Uh, now apples we should have plenty of. Uh, melon we don't have any. Uh, pumpkin we don't have any. Cactus 
we have like six. But a lot of this stuff should be pretty straightforward to acquire. That's cactus seeds. We want melon seeds and we want pumpkin seeds. Uh, so what's going to be the best way to handle this? I guess we just put them in here. They should go pretty fast. And how are we doing on those flux crystals? Is it done making them? It is. All right, so we're gonna need like, let's get like 100 more. Won't be too bad. Uh, all right, so uh, we have apples. Then we're gonna need both mushrooms. And cherries. Let's see, six, seven, there's eight of those. And let's just do this. Uh, so, which mushrooms? Okay, that way. Now we need. Cherry, blackberries, barley. Um, we don't even have barley seeds. We have blackberry seeds. Uh, and then cherries, we need saplings. So a lot of this stuff is actually going to be awful to get. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some, some different things. Um, and I think we'll do this a little bit next episode. Uh, I'm going to try to go find a couple of antlion dens and hopefully we can get what we need from them, uh, which is of course, well, we need to get the soul crystals. So we have to defeat a couple of antlions again. Uh, nothing majorly like bad or anything. Just kind of annoying. So, melons and then pumpkins. Uh, I might take a look and see what all we have, but a lot of the stuff I don't think we do. We haven't done too much with Pam's. Uh, let's see if we can get, get the rest of the flux crystals. Perfect. So that goes third. So yeah, we are slowly, very slowly, getting everything we need. Um, we have six ingots over here. How many do we need for this guy? We need uh, half a stack. So I am going to call the episode here. I'm going to go look in the Erebus for a couple more antlions. Um, and we'll kill those next time, hopefully, if I find them. Uh, it can take a while to find them. But then we will come back... Uh, and continue working on making the ultimate stew and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!